the error that Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was not the first human being. One of the claims made by those taken in by the idea of creation through evolution is that the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, may not have been the first human being and that he may not even have been human at all. Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, is beyond this. Those making such claims point to the following verse as evidence. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. When your Lord said to the angels, I am putting a Khalif on the earth, they said, Why put on it one who will cause corruption on it, and shed blood when we glorify you with praise and proclaim your purity? He said, I know what you do not know. These people interpret the Arabic verb Ja'ilun used in the expression I am putting a caliph on the earth as meaning to appoint in English. They then errorly conclude from this that the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was not the first human and that he was appointed caliph from among many human beings. The fact is, however, that the verb Ja'ilun does not only mean to appoint but also it is used in various places in the Qur'an to impart such different meanings as to create, bring into being, invent, convert, make, do, place, etc. Some of the verses in which the verb Ja'alun is employed read as follows. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. He created you from a single self then produced Ja'ala, its mate from it, and sent down livestock to you, eight kinds and pairs. Say, it is he who brought you into being and gave, wa Ja'ala, you hearing sight and hearts, what little thanks you show, and placed the moon as a light in them and made, wa Ja'ala, the sun a blazing lamp. Allah has spread, Ja'alam, the earth out as a carpet for you. As can be seen from these verses, the word Ja'alam is used in very different meanings in the Qur'an in addition of to a point. Yet even if the sense of to a point is applied to the word Ja'alam, it is still incompatible with the Qur'anic moral values to draw the heretical conclusion of creation through evolution. Allah tells us in the Qur'an that angels, jinn and Satan were all created before the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. When the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was created, the angels were required to prostrate themselves before him. And they all did this, with the exception of the jinn, Diabolus. Therefore, even if the word Ja'ala is interpreted as meaning to appoint, it is still clear that the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, is being referred to as being appointed Caliph over the angels and jinn. Allah knows the truth. In addition, after his descent to earth, the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was appointed Caliph over a human society consisting of his own descendants. And this is another sense in which the idea of being appointed is appropriate. All this goes to show the word Ja'ala in the verses do not, contrary to what some people maintain, mean that the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was chosen from among several people who existed together with him. The Qur'an contains no statement in support of such a claim. To make such an impossible suggestion, on the basis of a single word, is a sign of a serious lack of reason and judgment. Furthermore, it is clearly stated in several verses that the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was created out of earth. These verses make it clear that the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was not just one human being from among many, that he was the first human being, and that his was a very special and different creation. Allah states in one verse as such, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. The likeness of Jesus in Allah's sight is the same as Adam. He created him from earth, and then he said to him, Be, and he was. Another important piece of information provided by the Qur'an 
with regard to the prophet Adam, peace be upon him, being the first human being is the way that he and his wife were expelled from paradise because of the errors of their ways. Allah states in the verses, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Children of Adam, do not let Satan tempt you into trouble as he expelled your parents from the garden, stripping them of their covering and disclosing to them their private parts. He and his tribe see you from where you do not see them. We have made the Satans friends of those who have no faith. We said, Adam, live in the garden you and your wife, and eat freely from it wherever you will. But do not approach this tree, and so become wrongdoers. But Satan made them slip up by means of it, expelling them from where they were. We said, go down from here as enemies to each other. You will have residence on the earth and enjoyment for a time. The expressions in these verses are crystal clear. Allah created the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, out of earth. The Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was created in a very special manner. And this can be seen from his initial presence in and subsequent expulsion from paradise. However, those who espouse the false idea of evolutionary creation ignore these evident facts. They propose the irrational idea that the word paradise in the verses refers not to paradise in the hereafter, but to pleasant places on earth. Yet it is clearly revealed in the Qur'an that the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, and his wife were first placed in paradise and then subsequently sent down to earth. There is no Qur'anic evidence or basis for the claim that the word paradise in the verses refers to pleasant locations on earth. This claim consists entirely of illusory speculation built upon conjecture and guesswork. It is a serious error to attempt to look for evidence for the theory of evolution in the Qur'an by way of such irrational and illogical interpretations when the expressions used in the verses are so clear. There are several verses that indicate that all human beings are descended from the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. In other words, that he was the first human being. One such verse says, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. When your Lord took out all their descendants from the loins of the children of Adam and made them testify against themselves, Am I not your Lord? They said, We testify that indeed you are. Lest you say on the day of resurrection, We knew nothing of this. Or lest you say, Our forefathers associate others with Allah before our time, and we are merely descendants coming after them. So are you going to destroy us for what those purveyors of falsehood did? In short, the Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was the first human being, the first messenger of Allah, and the forerunner of all humans. The verses on this subject are so clear as to permit no other interpretation. Anyone reading the Qur'an with a sincere heart and devotion and heeding the voice of his conscience will, by Allah's leave, accurately interpret these verses and see the truth.